Hi everyone, this is Ivan and today we're gonna start our two-day trip in San Francisco. We arrived in San Francisco from a five-hour flight from Chicago. The next day, we decided to get the big bus in San Francisco since we have a very limited time. Our first stop in San Francisco is the Fisherman's Wharf. This area has waterfront restaurants, unique museums, an aquarium, and other fine attractions. It's also where you can find Pier 39. A trip to San Francisco is not complete unless you visit the Fisherman's Wharf. Our next stop is the Ferry Plaza Farmer's Market. The market is widely acclaimed for both the quality and diversity of its fresh farm products and artisan and prepared foods. It is renowned throughout the country as one of the top farmers market to visit. On any day, especially Saturdays, some of San Francisco's best known chefs and most famous farmers can be seen at the market. The farmers market is open three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. The markets offer fruits, vegetables, herbs, flowers, meats and eggs from small regional farmers and ranchers, many of whom are certified organic. On to our next stop is the iconic San Francisco Painted Ladies. Along the eastern side of Alamo Square Park is one of the most iconic and most photographed sites in San Francisco. These pastel colored homes standing shoulder to shoulder on the gentle slope of Steiner Street are called the Painted Ladies. Also known as the Postcard Row for their scenic beauty, these Victorian homes are a beautiful reminder of the San Francisco of old. Our next stop is the famous Golden Gate Bridge. Crossing the Strait of the Golden Gate from San Francisco's Presidio to the Marin Headlands is the world-renowned Golden Gate Bridge, easily identified by its international orange color. Once called the bridge that couldn't be built, today the Golden Gate Bridge is one of the seven wonders of the modern world. This magnificent span, perhaps 
San Francisco's most famous landmark, opened in 1937 after a four-year struggle against relentless winds, fog, rock, and treacherous tides. The next one is Palace of Fine Arts. The Palace of Fine Arts is located in the Marina District in San Francisco. It consists of Roman-inspired architecture including a rotunda and many different columns. The Palace of Fine Arts is also a theater that hosts many different kinds of events such as festivals, concerts, and other special exhibits. The Palace of Fine Arts was built in 1915 for the Panama Pacific International Exposition. However, it later had to be rebuilt as it was supposed to be a temporary exhibit. On our second day in San Francisco, we went back to the farmer's market to grab a breakfast based on the recommendation from a local. From there, we went to Alcatraz Island. By the name The Rock, it is a rocky island in San Francisco Bay, California. sneaks on up to that crate and he reaches inside of it and he pulls out a sock just a single sock then he scrambles below the dock right beneath where we're all standing that's where he hides it he comes back up continues sweeping before anyone can notice and he eating drinking and smoking is only permitted here at the dock the smoking area is on the far end of the dock off to your left Anything other than bottled water can exclusively be consumed right down here. That helps us protect our seabird populations. All right, two more things. Ferry departure times. They're on a tiny sandwich board on the ground. From 1934 to 1963, Alcatraz Island served as a federal prison for some of the most dangerous civilian prisoners. Among its famous denizens were Al Capone, George Machine Gun Kelly, and Robert Stroud, the Birdman of Alcatraz.
last stop in this vacation is the San Francisco Chinatown. It is considered the largest Chinatown outside of Asia as well as the oldest Chinatown in North America. It is one of the top tourist attractions in San Francisco. Chinatown is popularly known as a city within a city in San Francisco. Chinatown retains its customs, languages, places of worship, social clubs, and identity. From here, you can find over 300 restaurants, herbal shops, and temples with pagoda roofs make up a miniature Asian world with its hustle and bustle of residents weaving their way through the sea of tourists and regulars.